Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called find the team size and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 37th video of this series called find the team size. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So Amazon, let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called employee with two different columns, employee ID and team ID. Employee ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of each employee and their respective team. We are asked to write a solution to find the team size of each of the employees. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have various employees and their team IDs. And let's look at, okay, so for employee ID 1, the team they belong to is team ID 8. And in team ID 8, there are three different people. So employee ID 1, the team size is 3. Similarly, for employee ID 2, again belongs to team ID 8. So the team size is 3 and so on. And that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we can do is firstly we can take this employee table and group by the team id and count the number of employees that will give you the team size of every team id so what i am saying is from this table called employee let's group by the team id and return the team id and count the employee id that will give you the team size right so in our output we need that as team size so let me write this as team size and if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if i look at my output so i have team id 8 7 and 9 which has team size 3 1 and 2 now what i need is basically in this employee table if i left join this employee table using team id from the table that we just created so what I'm saying is, let's, you know, keep this entire thing as a table T. So if I just wrap this around parentheses and alias this as T. And what I do is, from this table, from the table called employee, aliased as E, if I do left join the table that we just created, which basically is for every team ID, what is the team size? on e dot so since your employee table also has the team id and the team and the table that you created also has team id so we can simply use that column to join so e dot team id is equal to t dot team id and then in our output what we need we need the employee id from the employee table so return e dot employee id and we need the team size team size is coming from capital t dot team size and since we do not need to order this by anything so i think this looks good this is the subquery since this question belongs to the subqueries part okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it. Not a very difficult question. What we did was, so initially we grouped by the team ID to get the team size and then we simply joined this on that employee table on the team ID column so that we can get for every employee ID what is the team size. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.